Hi guys, it's Bailey. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm super excited to be showing you guys how I edit my Instagram pictures. I did a video like this about a year ago, but I've definitely changed my editing style since then. Since then I've also gotten two new phones. My last phone had terrible, terrible camera quality. It was like $80. It was super cheap. So earlier this summer I bought uh, the iPhone SE. So far I really like it and the camera quality is really good. This is that video I made last year. I still edit with Visco, but I downloaded like the premium version and there's a lot more tools and presets that you use. A lot of people use Lightroom. I had it for a short time. I just don't know why. I didn't like it. Yeah, you guys can go follow my Instagram and my Visco account because I post all these photos that I'm editing here today on both of those social media platforms. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, first I'm going to go into Visco. I have already imported three photos that I'm going to just show you guys today because they're all really different and I want to show the different kinds of photos that I edit and how I edit depending on the lighting and stuff. A lot of these I post on my actual Visco account which is belizabeth02 and on my Instagram eats by Bailey and then just on my personal Instagram which is private. So I'm going to first edit this one because this one is one of my favorite images and it was also used in my thumbnail last week and I had a lot of people like oh that's a really cool picture. So this is how I always edit. I kind of edit a little bit weird. I don't go in order. I just prefer to do this. So first I will sharpen the image a little bit. I'm not going to sharpen this one a whole lot. And then saturation. I like pretty bright right now. Of course when like the fall winter comes when your theme changes it'll be you know a little bit more warmer tones. Highlights just a little bit. And again every photo is different. I'll turn up the shadows a little bit as well. Um, next thing that I'll do typically I won't adjust too much before I put the preset on. So the preset that I like best I've been using is Dog 3. Just put that on there. It's really pretty. That's just a lot. So I'm going to turn it down. But it has a really nice warm tone and everything's kind of just pink and purple. And I actually really like that because if you have a really pretty sky, it really looks good. So this is when I'll actually go through and like edit other little things like the exposure. I'm going to turn it down just a little bit. Contrast. Not a whole lot. So my skin, as you can see, is really, like, purple. So I'm going to turn the skin tone up a bit so my skin doesn't look so weird. And then the best part is this HSL, which is, like, you can pick, like, a color. We'll do blue, for example. And everything kind of, everything that's blue, including, like, the sky and the little stuff on the air balloons, becomes a lot more vibrant. You can turn up the saturation. I just kind of play around with this. Um, I would typically play around with this for, you know, a few minutes just to see what looks best. There's a lot of purple, so we'll turn the purple up a little bit. Yeah, just a little stuff here and there. Um, not a whole, whole lot. Overall, that's pretty much the finished product. It looks really good. It's really simple. I might go back through again one more, two more times and adjust something if I need to, but overall, don't do a whole lot. I might adjust the temperature. Actually, I might turn that up a little bit. Um, that looks pretty good. So yeah, so this is just kind of how I would edit like a really basic photo of like maybe me or me and some friends or something. So I would just save it. Okay. There we go. I'm going to put the before and after on the screen. So we're going to edit this food picture. So for my Instagram account, I have been using the preset either the AL3 or the AL5. Kind of just playing around whichever one looks best. First, before I put preset on, we're going to edit it a little bit. So first things first, saturation, turn up a little bit. So there's a lot of pink in this photo because this was like a raspberry smoothie bowl or something. So there's a lot of like pink. So we definitely want to highlight that a bit. Not a whole lot. Turn that up a little bit. We're going to go right over to the HSL. And we're going to adjust the pink tones a little bit. So I want them to be pretty vibrant. So this is where I'm going to go ahead and add the preset. So I'm going to look at both of them. It's either one of those. So there's that one. It kind of looks a little blue, so we would definitely adjust that. And then the other one. Okay, so out of these two, I really don't know which one I like better for this photo. Probably this one. I'm going to turn it down a little bit. Okay. Go here, make it a little bit more warm. Adjust the exposure and then it looks kind of blue so we're gonna go back over here and this is just where I would adjust that blue color that's coming out a little bit looks 
pretty good as well. I actually really like that one. I try to go as simple as possible. I try to make sure that my photos don't look like edited. You'll want them to look really natural. So I'm gonna put before and after on the screen. So finally, so there's this photo I took with my um, grandma's dog that was over this morning. It's not a very great photo. He refused to sit up. He always wanted to lay down. So we're gonna edit this one because this one was taken inside, but the lighting's actually pretty good. We're gonna turn up the exposure. I'm wearing a tennis shirt, so I want that to be kind of bright. Assist exposure saturation, oh my goodness. Um, so overall, I don't really like the color that my wall is looking like in this photo, so I'm gonna I'm adjust that a little bit. I want it to either be more blue, not really like that green color. I think that looks better. Yeah, that looks a little better because all right, that looks a lot better. So I like the color there. And I'll just go through and play with the presets. Like there's a lot of them and they look really good. Like all those look pretty bad, but this is my favorite because everything just looks really warm and it's like a consistent color. So I would turn that down. And overall, that's probably all I would do to that one simply because that's just like an inside photo and there's really only so much editing you can do before it just looks over edited. All right. Final one, before and after. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Comment below what your favorite app is to edit with and also comment below some video ideas because I like hearing you guys' video ideas and I want some really cool like fall video ideas just for the upcoming few months. Please stay safe, I hope you all have a great week and I'll see you all in my next video, bye.